what a stunning day and what a stunning background for the first ever Golspy Backyard Ultra. So, let's go and have a look at the course. Facing the Bay of Sunland, we turn a sharp left and we head down towards the forest. At this point, we do a dog leg to the left and head back, but we hit the first hill. From here, the path takes you onto the castle grounds. You can see it there in the background as we turn left onto the road that takes you to the exit of the estate. Just ignore that uh, little bit there as I took the wrong turn. So we've come off the road now, back onto a trail. It's a little bit uh, muddy here, not too bad. As you can see, we just cut some steps and now we're gonna head down towards this house. A little bit of a curve here. And then we pass this house onto this open gate. As you can see, it was quite muddy in this section. Back on the coastline here, heading north. As you can see, the ground here is a bit uneven. Lots of stones, which have been swept to the side by the organizers. That's a good job there. Okay, so once we pass this coastal line, turn left and head up towards the castle. I didn't take much footage here but the hell, yes, this is the hell. Big kudos to those who did this every hour on the hour. So we're now at 3.3 uh, odd miles, heading back uh, the same route that we came out of. So it's just retracing the steps backwards here. Uh, miss out the uh, dog leg bit there and just go straight to the right, follow the coast back to the south. and then on to the finish line. And what a view of the finishing line that is, when you look at it, there's the castle. And that's them off, lap one begins. As you can see, they didn't go very fast because slow and steady wins the race for a backyard ultra. Now, for those of you who don't know what a backyard ultra is, I'll just give you a brief explanation. The objective is to make sure you finish every lap within the hour. If you do not complete a lap within the hour, then you are classed as DNF, did not finish. The winner is the one that completes most laps. How was it? It was fantastic. I think you're lying. No, it's a very, very kind course. Not too hilly, not too muddy. Really beautiful, nice scenery, nice people. So you think the course was good then, do you? Yeah, it was a good course, yeah. Muddy in places, a couple of hills, but no, overall good. Okay, let's see what you think in about uh, 12 hours time. What do you think? Well, the weather's got a lot better, it's the first day, it hasn't been pissing rain for like over a week and they've done a good job of clearing up all the stones along the shore so yeah, it's far more enjoyable than my recce run a few days ago was. The Backyard Ultras aren't actually 4 miles, they're slightly longer. On average, they should be about 4.16 miles, which means that if you run them for 24 hours, you will complete 100 miles in that 24 hours. Quite a few people stop at the 24 hour mark because it does mean they've done 100 miles. 
and that's a goal a lot of people go for. Hopefully the guys I'm supporting are actually going to last a little bit longer, but hey, only time will tell. Even though I am saying it's 4.16 miles, I think this loop is more 4.2, so that little bit extra. As I said earlier, I'm here to support three of my good friends, Dan Scott, Dave Moore and Ali Sutherland, which is actually no relation to Lord Sutherland, who's actually allowing this uh, backyard ultra to happen at his estate. Okay, so we're on the third lap now, and the temperature has dropped quite a bit, and it's uh, the fogs come in, as you can see. I'm gonna head back now, put on my jacket, and see if the guys need anything. Get the kettle on, give them a cup of tea, warm them up, so they're ready to go with like 10 or 15 minutes. Any idea what you want from a chugger? So I can put it on my list. Fish and chips? No, it's single. Single fish. This event had 82 people sign up and 71 actually made it to the start line, which is actually a phenomenal turnout. We're currently on lap four and I think we've had one dropout already. So at the moment, I'm waiting for the first runner to come past. As you can see, he's just approaching now. He's still got about a mile to go at this point. guys are out for their sixth lap now and I thought I would uh, show you around see what mess they've left behind and I'm currently supporting three guys but there is a fourth Ali's uh, brother who is here also but he's not got any support I'll just turn the camera around so that's my corner there change of clothes for the lads right there there's a fridge there which belongs to Dave we've got all our stuff in there like cheese butter bacon all that kind of stuff. That's my food in there. Don't really have that much. I was just kind of hoping I would just uh, rob them of their nutrition. What have we got in here? Got some nuts, some pot noodle type things. Oh, it looks like we've got some uh, packets of uh, sweets. Got contradiction uh, of things here. We've got fruits on one side and chocolates on the other. Over here we've got, oh, ambrosia custard. Oh, it's lovely stuff, that. Uh, cans of Coke, Red Bull, water. Um, over here we've got Dave's, Dave's mess. Um, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's his food. I see he's got a lot of tin stuff. Um, I'm not really sure, he's got a bag of clothes. He's obviously got everything sussed out each lap, I suppose. It's quite organised. And we've got chairs for the guys when they come back to rest. That's pretty much it. I'm going to say I make Greek coffees for the guys. Uh, they seem to like that. I guess it keeps them going. I've got the milk here. It's actually cold enough just to leave out. To be honest with you, I probably don't even need a fridge. That's lap nine. In the process of uh, being complete, boys are going to be in in a minute and I've had to nip to the shops to buy some uh, cutlery and stuff and the chipper which is just here. I'm going to have to wait till they arrive before I tuck into mine. Um, there's no actual room for me. Chippers all round. After the ninth there. Eh? Where's Dan? Where it is Dan? Everyone still doing okay? Yeah. Dave? Yeah. Too bad. Do Good stuff. If, if you do you want to leave it here and I'll fix it. Do you want another? Do you want another head torch? No, no, that head torch will do seven hours on on one charge, mate. Sucks in the dark. It's been nice so far, mate. I'm not gonna lie. And actually, it's, it's 
slowing the pace down quite nicely as well. Tell you what, you can be getting back up to run again after a week we didn't suffer a bit. You had not at all that, did you? Uh, see. No, I just done a 39 minute up. The man that didn't even... sure I had time for that. <laughs> the man that didn't even like want me. chips. <laughs> I smashed that I lap then. I took three bites of that burger. I've eaten about a quarter of it. I smashed that lap and then all I could think about was my fish. Are you done? Absolutely. I think he's too good to put his Nine laps, mate. Yeah. We'll take your picture and you can get away. There we go. Get yourself some your, soup. Your chipper will be freezing. Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> okay, so lap 11. So far, there's 32 people left, which is quite impressive, actually. And um, like I said, our man Dan has uh, pulled out, which leaves three left from uh, our crew. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty cold just now. The fog's lifted, not that you'd be able to know because it's so dark. But anyway, that's the first person finished uh, lap 11. I'm currently walking down the path, seeing if I can see them. Can't see any lights or anything yet. Oh, there's one now. Hopefully it's one of our lot. Hey, hey, Ollie. Where's Dave? I just, he just passed me. He's just coming oh, to get some hot water. You still going? Look. Aye, one more lap. One more lap. That was shite. Was it? Yeah, head torch. What happened? Oh, it's done. Yeah. You stick a head torch in my pack. Yeah, yeah. Still on though. Your head torch is still on. No, it's a spare. Do you need a charge or something? Sorry. Do you want a spare one? Oh, I'm going to have to bleep this out so much. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. The bleep bleep this bleep. Never mind though. Fifty miles shortly. Okay, that's start of lap eleven. Okay, lap twelve. That's two more people dropped out from this group. One left. Super Ali. How's things, Dave? How you feeling? Do you know what your name is? You look a bit hypothermic, to be honest with you, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally, totally cold. And Never mind, mate. Just, I was bouncing about across the whole trail for the past two loops, and no, just too cold. It is, it's freezing. I don't know what the temperature is. You want to carry and to eat. Right, so what was that? Lap. Lap 13. Lap 13, mate, 154 miles, 46 to go before the first checkpoint. Cheers. What do you mean, the next checkpoint? 100 mile checkpoint, then, ah. we, then, we, then we crack on to 150. That's when the race begins, eh? Yep. That's Just when, that's like when you're hitting a marathon, when you're hitting 30 k's. That's, last that's when the race starts. Yeah. Yep. Feeling good then, eh? I feel amazing, I can't believe it, I can't believe how much better I feel. I think it's tea and some calories, the tea, hit the spot, hot drinks. I'll maybe have a coffee next time. No bother. Okay, coffee and socks. Coffee and socks. Change your shoes? No, I'm going to keep shoes, shoes are absolutely fine. Yeah. But I won't change the socks. Right, a couple hours, a couple of Let's minutes, Kip. Okay, we're on lap 14 now. You can see the numbers have definitely dwindled. It's looking good, Ollie's strong. Hopefully he can keep going till daylight at least. And they're off. Again. 
I've lost count with what laps we're on, but I've uh, asked if I could tail walk for a bit because um, it seems to be the same people doing it all the time. So, as you can see, there's nobody in front of me because everyone's just gone off. Um, yeah, there's not much to film at, uh, at night. And um, yeah, it's kind of a bit eerie, as you can see. You can't really see much on my head torch. That's it, six left. Even took a gel, screwed the gel up. Yeah. I just run out puff. Well done. Ah, uh, pressure. Hard concept to get, <laughs> your, head, to get your head. It's, it's funny, it's, it's easy when you start it, but it's funny when it gets hard, yeah. It's, it's it's because you put it in paper and yeah. you say a 24 or 100 mile. Thank you very much, I'll it's take it. So easy. Yeah. So easy. And you get into the concept and it's just so hard stopping and starting and stopping and stopping. And it's not a case of getting back out, it's a case of actually when you're running. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you could take, you could take like that loop there and done the four miles and an hour and ten. Yeah. And kept going. Yeah, that's an annoying thing. You know? But you an hour and two minutes and 22 seconds. You can't. It's and very, very unforgiving. It is. And hearts off to the guys that are running. There's only, there's only, there's only I think there's only, is there four or five? I think there's maybe five. I think it was six left. Was there six? I think so. I thought, because originally three I thought. just timed out. Yeah, and there was a guy timed out. Apparently before I he Mike's still in. dropped off. Yeah, okay. Mike's still in. I think he was at the front of the butt. No oh, well man. You give it a try. And yeah. you weren't you weren't far off finishing that last one. I want a daylight, mate. I know. I just and it's just so it's badly. just coming daylight now as four well. Fourteen hour, fourteen loops. That's that's, that's hard. Fourteen yards. I just wanted to run in the daylight. You know, one, just one, just to see if it would make me feel any better. Yeah. Need to go, I get it? Need to go to see this one up in Twat. Yeah, but you get what was that? Twenty hours of daylight. Twenty hours. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, never mind, engine. mate. Yeah. Windy as hell. I'd probably go in it snow. It's been a tough last fourteen odd hours in the dark. Uh, there's only a handful of runners left the two minute mark has been sounded and uh, they will all approach the start line that's at the one minute mark and they will take off for another loop unfortunately I'm gonna have to call it a day time to pack up the tent and head home it's a three hour drive and because all the guys I'm up here with have uh, DNF'd there's no need for me to hang about anymore. So let's watch them take off and then call it a night. Right, Mike, amazing achievement. How do you feel having won the inaugural Gosby Backyard Ultra? I couldn't be happier. That's a, a hat trick of backyards for the year. And uh, one thing I want to say is good luck to the other heart warrior. She knows who she is. Surgery on Wednesday. Superb, well done, fantastic event. And you were an amazing winner. Congratulations from everybody. Thank you very much.